Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to WoW Classic and the Season of Mastery. We are still in the Western Plague Lands today. I'm going to try to find the Fellstone Field Cauldron Key. See if we can do that. We still have a couple of things to do here in the ruins of Anderhal, but I am going to wait till we're a higher level. We need to be able to collect from the granaries and kill the little termite or bugs or slugs or whatever they are that come out. And, yeah, there's some orange enemies here that can deal significant damage to us. Searing ghouls, in particular, maybe these alkylates at level 56. So, I'm not really wanting to hang out in Anderhal very much right now. Uh, what I want to find is the Fellstone field. So, we're going to have to run around and kind of just reveal things on the map. It's really not an incredibly large area. So, we should be able to... If we just scout out, we should be able to unveil the map pretty expediently. Hope you all are doing well today. As I'm filming this, it is the first day of the new year, so I hope all of your new years are off to a good start. And I wish you all the best. Let's turn on some herb tracking, because, yeah, what is this? Oh, lots of stuff. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna we're gonna fight for that. If you're gonna give me a bunch of herbs in one spot, I guess I'm gonna have to fight for it and see what we can actually gather and what might be out of our range. Dream foil, plague bloom, and sungrass. Failed attempt, fair. Haven't had one of those in a little while. The Writhing Haunt. Alright, what's going on over here? Level 55, Rotting Ghouls. So this is not... This is a cauldron, but it isn't the cauldron that we need. That's interesting. Hmm. Well, in that case, let's continue on. I'm kind of thinking that the road would have been a safer bet than kind of winging it across country here, but we'll see. Yeah, we have quite a train behind us. We, we don't want to get dazed right now. We don't want to get dismounted, especially. You aggroed from quite a distance. Garen's Withering. Didn't we have a quest that mentioned Garen's Withering? Oh, northwest of Anderhal. Oh, we are definitely- <laughs> we've gone the wrong direction. Northwest. It was right over here, right? We can- we, now that I look, I can barely see on the map of the outline. Yeah, let's head over there. It's okay that we opened up some of these other areas on the map, though, just to give us an idea of where things are at. We'll probably swing up here, too, and try to reveal whatever this is. I had a map up yesterday, but today I don't, so I, I do want to just open up most of the parts on our map. I know Hearth Glen is up there, 
and I've been kind of waiting for something to take us there, but eventually, if nothing takes us up there, we'll run up there and see what quests are available for us to grab. Well, you'd think somewhere in this area we would hit some kind of landmark that might trigger the map. Let's see what this is over here. Okay, some level 54 Scarlet guys who are definitely guarding something. Maybe Hearth Glen is a Scarlet Town. Maybe it's not a quest hub. Northridge Lumber Camp. Okay, good to know. Yeah, I'm... I'm kind of thinking now, you know, is Hearth Glen an actual town? Because I don't think I've ever been there. Arthas's Tears. We can definitely get those. We are in combat with a bunch of stuff right now, which might make that more difficult. And here we have Dalson's Tears. Okay, that's a pretty good job of just showing us what is in our immediate vicinity. So let's head over here now and see if this is actually the Fellstone Field. And it is. Lots of Scarlet guys over here as well. Which kind of makes me surprised that we don't have any quests to take on Scarlet's. Uh, we're kind of approaching from like a pointless direction here. Let's not approach from this way. Let's try to get our eyes on the actual cauldron. Here we go. We, we've got something happening. I, I can't quite figure it out. I'm pretty sure the Scarlet NPCs are fighting the undead NPCs, which is freaking amazing. And I would love it if they did some more of that. Uh, yeah, that, that has to be what happened here. Hmm. Very cool. And we have a level 41, uh, 51 Dwarf Paladin kind of working their way in here. Maybe, maybe they're heading on to the same quest that we're doing. Who knows? Uh, how do I want to do this? Not by running in. Oh, oh no. <laughs> what have I been saying the most in this zone? Oh no. Yeah, I've just gotten really bad at pulling things properly, I guess. Pretty sure we're gonna die. Don't think we have. We have no potions at the moment to keep us alive. And these guys have really long ranges. It's only going to take one more Frostbolt to kill us. We'll try a quick bandage and we'll try again. Soloing is becoming questionable. We, we've kind of got into this area and everything here has seemed to be tuned more for groups. It doesn't say so, nothing says so, but just, like, when we look at the pulls, we can have a three pull, or we can have another three pull, or we can have a two pull, like, what do you want? Because you're not getting a one pull. We're not gonna let you come in here and fight one guy at a time. That's basically what's been happening. Said so I'm not even sure how to approach this. But I, I think I have to start over here. I mean, some of these guys are only level 50, but without our bleeds, I, I can't take multiple at a time. Uh, without potions, without bleeds, I, I'm not going to be able to do it. 
And I kind of want to minimize death, so I don't really want to attempt it just to kind of see what happens. Let's get some potions going. They haven't really helped too much, but they certainly can't hurt. Like, right now, I'd love to take this. If I pull this guy, I'm going to get these two. Uh, I can't fight all three of them. You're a sorcerer, so you're going to cast at me. Is there a way I can get you by yourself? I'd love for him to come a little bit further, but I don't think he's going to. There he goes. And, and now we just need to get hit about 17 more times. And we'll be able to do some actual damage to him. Yeah, not, not pretty. Not very pretty at all. If this guy's heading in here, that could really help us. He seems uncertain, though. Yeah. He's like, how do I approach this? Where do I go? Right, exactly. I think we just need to get here. If we can click on this, we should be good, right? Uh, yeah, it acts like you're going to be able to click on this, but we can't. You are too far away, it says. But I'm clicking it. I'm not too far away, I swear. I'm not too far away. How am I going to get closer? We've got a fellow warrior over here, Corporal Ricky Spanish, uh, doing some work on the left side of us over here, protecting our flank, like a true brother in arms. Yeah, he's braver than I would be. Uh, I'm not charging in to take two of those guys on, no thanks. Uh, we did pick up some pies, so I got some food, did a little bit of inventory management. So things are looking okay. What's gonna happen if we pull this? Yeah, we're gonna pull this guy. Let's do this. Let's get a rend up over here. That wasn't too bad, actually. We got a couple of big crits that really helped. Continual big crits. You literally have to be right on top of it, okay? An access panel to the cauldron remains securely fastened in order to open it. Wait, do I not have these? Is this going to be one of those confusing quests that I like never understand exactly what I have to do? The Scourge have greener troops positioned here. We think it has a key that will unlock access to the cauldron. When unlocked, engage the cauldron lord. Do you guys see a cauldron lord? Engage the cauldron lord there. We think it has a key that will unlock the cauldron. What is this? Do I just fight stuff until a cauldron lord spawns? I I'm not... Not really getting it. Not really getting it. Oh, here we go. Cauldron Lord Bile Maw. He was hanging out over here uh, the whole time, it turns out. That's why the warrior went in on this side. Because he knew what he was looking for. I thought we just had to click the thing. And I thought by clicking the thing we would summon the Lord, then fight him. 
but apparently we need to fight him before we clicky the thing, so... I guess we'll just clear out this little area. Yeah, that does look pretty unhealthy. Like, I wouldn't want to spend a lot of time here either as a human, because I'm pretty sure this is going to straight up kill us after a while, isn't it? It'd be cool if there was, like, a mechanic for the zone, you know? Like, you spend a lot of time in a zone, maybe it's really interesting, and you have some kind of plague mechanic that you're, you're losing resistance, and maybe you equip, like, plague-resistant gear that you have to use while you're here and stuff like that. I don't know. Just spitballing. There we go, the Scarlet Boys have pulled some undead. Somehow, like, helping us out in, the, in our periphery. Kinda curious, there are quite a few people in the zone. Well, 18. I guess 18 is not too many people. I need to start looking for more for this, probably, pretty soon. Like, if we can get this cauldron quest complete, I will spam general for this for a little bit and see if we can get anyone to help us get in there and do Chromie's quest. The Plagueland termites? I, I don't understand this one. I haven't come across any termites. So maybe we're not in the right area. In Plaguewood, near the once great Strathholm, there is a breed that survived the plague. Find their mounds and fill this jar with them. I have the empty termite jar out. I just haven't found anything that looks like termite mounds. I'm going to try to keep these guys cleared out so that when the Lord does spawn, we will be able to get him on his own without having to deal with any ads. Some male wrist of nature's wrath. Oh, hi there. Oh, here we go. Cauldron Lord Bill Maw. Bile Maw? Alright, we've got his key. Let's try this again. The key taken from the Cauldron Lord Bill Maul is a perfect- I'm gonna keep saying it wrong, okay guys? Is a perfect fit in unlocking the access panel. A foul stench emanates from the opened panel as an unknown mix of concentrated substances swirl inside the cauldron. There's a small spigot. The bottle fits well enough under. Yeah, good. Who doesn't want a spigot? on their plague cauldron. Of course I would install one of those. In case any of the workers in the fields need a nice drink. Bring the filled Felstone bottle back to Priestess McDonald Chilwin Camp. Okay. 
Yeah, this is not where we need to be. Don't read quests where they happen. Don't ever, don't ever read a quest where it happens. Uh, you're getting set up to just get murdered by doing that. There we go, we lived. Thank you, Retaliation. All right, let's try not to chain too many. These guys are gonna slow us down even on mount, so we don't wanna have a bunch of guys hitting us while this happens. There we go, looks like we're clear. Uh, we need to peel back through Anderhall to get where we're going. I'm not expecting that to bear a lot of fruit, but I have to try because everything in here in Anderhall is going to be so much easier if we have at least one or two people with us. I'm hoping to hit level 54 either today or early tomorrow. After that, we'll have six levels left. Uh, I am I'm just really looking forward to being through the leveling part. We still have a lot left to see. I'm excited to see the things that we have left. The Western Plaguelands here is, feels kind of cramped. And like I said, it's really feeling like we need a group to actually get the most out of it. Uh, which, it's been really hard for me to find any groups that aren't for elite quests or dungeons. Nobody wants to group up to do a, a normal quest. At least that's how it seems to me, or there just aren't people around who are on that part of the quest. Well done, it should take, El it should take Alchemist Arbington no time at all to analyze this and devise a counter agent to introduce into the cauldron. If we are able to pump out enough of it into the air, we might be able to weaken the Scourge present here. This will no doubt be an ongoing ordeal. We will need to continually hit these cauldrons and introduce our reagents into the mix. Still, if we can keep it up, we, have, we will have a huge advantage over the Scourge when the time comes for battle. Okay, fair. That wasn't a lot of experience, but... One of the plague cauldrons is located in the field of a former farmhouse now referred to as Dawson's Tears. Well, we shall shed no tears this day as we thwart the scourge and have them choke on their own fumes. Go to Dawson's Tears, almost due north of Anderhall, and eliminate the cauldron lord there. It should have a key like the last one did, allowing you into the cauldron. Use this bottle to obtain a sample, so now we have to go to Dawson's Tears. Okay, Dawson's Tears was right about, well, right to the north of Anderhall, like she said. Just like she said. Part of me wonders if we can just go across the lake, but uh, that would probably not work out well for us, so we'll go all the way around again.
Okay, uh, well, about working our way carefully into the field. Let's, let's pull everything around us first, that's the first step. That's just to confuse them. We'll run through, pull everything, confuse it, reset it, and try again. This, is ha this has to be far enough. No? Really? Okay, well. Cool. There we go. Alright. Well, let's come down here, perhaps. A little bit closer to the cauldron. Oh, well, hello. So... How about we start over here? And there's the Cauldron Lord there, Lord Melvinius, level 55. He's gonna come with that rotting cadaver. Because why wouldn't he? Uh, I don't like what's happening over here because I don't know where any of the, those guys are going to end up if they kill that mage. So I, I really, I'm always uncomfortable whenever there's a mage around me doing this kind of stuff. Because I, I worry about getting on their aggro chain and just getting annihilated by all of these guys. So I don't mind getting annihilated when I do something stupid. It's totally fair, but I don't like getting annihilated because somebody else is doing something stupid. And yes, I consider it stupid if you get me on your aggro chain and then you die by aggroing a ton of enemies. Okay, what is happening here exactly? Volatile infection. Is that going to stop us from eating? Because usually poisons don't. Okay. Okay, great. Let's pull this one out. Uh, are we going to be able to charge here, or, or are we going to get this third guy? I have a bad feeling about getting the third guy. We don't have retaliation up. We don't have any potions made. Let's make a couple of healing potions. These, these are not going to help us a lot, okay? It's not going to help us a lot. It's going to help us very minimally. If we pull three guys, I'm going to have to run. Okay, he's a caster. Great, that's what we needed. We needed him to be a caster. That's great. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Can I kill one of these guys? Just one of them? Shit. Big, big fail. Huge fail. Alright, so this guy spawns adds. Um, I guess we'll have to figure out how we're going to deal with that. We could probably pull him all the way back here while he's on his own. I don't see any other adds up with him right now. So we'll pull him back here and then we just, I guess, hope for the best. I am in a group. I'm going to try to do Sunken Temple another time and get that completed. I think this is him summoning. Oh no, that's him shooting stuff at us. That's That's ideal. Super ideal. We're doing really good. We're already at like half health. We've hit him once, so it's perfect. If I do the fear, he's probably going to resist it, right? Yeah, immune. Uh, I guess I'm not going to do this right now. <laughs> I've been ending. I feel like I've ended a lot of episodes really anticlimactically recently. But yeah, being here is some kind of mistake. It's the mistake of ignorance of not really understanding how this zone works. 
and the challenge it's supposed to represent as we get higher in level. It's obviously kind of becoming a place where you need to group up. They're, they're not doing anything actively to encourage grouping in the wording of the quest or anything like that, but it's really becoming clear that unless I find someone else to do some of these quests with, uh, we're not going to be doing them until we are a higher level. So, in the effort to get to a higher level, I'm going to do this dungeon run, complete some of the sunken temple quests that we have. The next time we do a video, we're probably going to be back in Ungoro Crater. We have a few things there to finish up that I know we can tackle on our own. So, yeah, that's the plan, guys. Sorry it was kind of a boring one today. We didn't get a lot accomplished. Uh, we're going to come back here much, much later and do some more stuff. But for now, I'm going to say farewell. Happy New Year to everybody. Thank you guys so much for all the time and all the support you spend here with me in Azeroth. I really do appreciate it. Take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we will see you back here again sometime really soon. Bye now.